hey guys it's a red big one okay this is the the 1.5 software the 1.5 software okay uh, firstly we'll start with our time frames uh, h4 you know when the market is on the red zone it has to go to the green zone from the green zone it has to go to the red zone that's uh that's your market direction that's how you look at your market direction so on h4 you'll only be looking at the market direction where the market is going right now meaning if it's from the red zone it has to go to the green zone if it's from the green zone it has to go to the red zone so you'll be looking at where the market is going next so for now the market hasn't reached hasn't reached the red zone the green zone meaning that the market is still on a sell zone the market is still on a sell zone so h4 you're looking at your direction and then you'll be jumping to m30 30 minutes time frame okay on m30 on m30 that's where you'll be taking your entries depending on the direction that you've got on h4 meaning that on h4 if h4 is a sell on m30 you'll only be taking trading circles on your zones trading circles circles on your zones black circle you don't trade market is market is disabled meaning that market doesn't have any direction so red and green red and green red and green the market has been disabled for quite a long time on m30 okay mt uh, mt you will be taking your trades you only be trading circles mean that on h4 if you saw a sell on m30 you'll be taking only red circles going down until the h4 market changes direction and becomes a buy that's when you'll be coming on your 30 minutes time frame and taking buy entries going up remember you don't trade errors on 1.5 software you don't trade errors but then there's always a recipe to killing the market okay guys i'm going to start from the wave okay as you can see the wave is still pointing down meaning it's not your time it's not your time to enter inside the market you have to wait to, for the wave to point your direction in order for you to be taking trades meaning if you see a cell you can't be taking a cell while the wave is still pointing up you'll have to wait for the wave to turn you have to wait for the wave to turn as if like it turn same as this one your support and demand is saying that the market is about to take a buy but then your wave remember the wave controls the market flow the wave controls the market flow the wave controls the market flow and then the zones just give you the direction the direction where the market has to go to so you know if the market has to go to but then the wave which is giving me the direction is still a sell why do i have to take a sell why do i have to take a buy you have to ask yourself that why do i have to take a buy so you have to wait for your wave to be pointing up in order for you to take a trade you wait for your wave to point up to where your direction is given to you and then you take the you take the trade okay how to take a trade wave pointing up red uh, support demand saying that it's, it's your time to buy the wave has to point up okay let's see in this case there's a circle there's a circle that indicating that that indicates that the market has to reverse and then go up okay okay let me tell you what you should do just because of the wave is still pointing down you won't take that reversal because what it will do the market will go up and then go down immediately the market goes up from your circle and then goes down just know it's not your time to take the circle you'll have to wait for an air because of a circle can come come out twice at the same time remember this is a registered version your circle can't come out twice at the same time so you'll have to wait for your market to go up remember that the arrows the arrows are just there to push your market to your direction like arrows are for continuation you know continuation like when something has stopped but then you know it has to continue from here that's how you'll be taking your trades mark wave pointing down you see a circle it's not the time because of the market will go up reverse and then go down of which it will form a w if uh, if you have been analyzing it will form a w then the market will be going up so you have to be smart guys you have to be smart follow the wave uh, okay there's another indicator pick by pixel pick by pixel pick by pixel for situation like this pick by pixel once the red line is up it's a cell once the green line it's up 
it's a buy. One line has to be up. It doesn't matter which line will be up, but then one has to be up. One has to be up. So you know, okay, one line is up. Meaning that uh, when maybe it's it's red. Let's say we only the green zone. It's green. You just you don't take your, you you take your trade according to the line. The line indicator is also important. Okay, where was I? I wanted to open. which chart are we from? Okay. Use H1, H1, one hour time frame, one hour time frame for the 2.5 software. Okay, let, let's say it's the, the mic. Okay, H1, you're always on H1, one hour time frame, one hour time frame. No, uh, one hour time frame, uh, the meaning of one hour time frame, meaning that whenever, meaning that the next candle that will be coming out will be coming out on the next hour. So that's why we have the one hour. No, four hour, the next four hour is another candle coming out. One month, there is another candle coming out within a month. So, <clears throat> okay, okay, let's continue, guys. Support me, okay. Using your one hour time frame, one hour time frame, one hour time frame. Okay, let's say, uh, let's say you here. I'm zooming it out so that you guys can see it properly. Uh, let's say you, you always take your trades. Okay. okay, let's say you're from the red level. Okay, let's say you're from here, which will be your red level, and then from your red level. What will be determining your next movement will be a wave. The wave determines your next movement. These two, full, these two parts only determine your direction and then the wave. But then the wave will determine your next movement. Your next movement will be determined by your wave. So let's say you from here, guys. You on the red. You on. Let me, can you see the wave is still? It's still pointing down. Okay, the wave is still pointing down. Let me speak properly. The wave is still pointing down. So if you want more strategies like the one that I've just shared with you right here, like the order block Fibonacci strategy and the many more strategies, go to the link in this video description, click on the telegram group and then you will take you right here with the return mobile forex signals and then it will take you right here then you come to file section where you can actually scroll on thousands of PDFs that you can go through, select one strategy, learn, master it and then you can actually make money with this. So you can actually see the other trading books, trading strategies that you can actually go through, Nasdaq strategies, candlestick trading Bible, and many more other strategies that you can actually go through, learn how to trade, master how to trade, find entries, and also there are other indicators that you can actually use to help you make more money while you are trading. So join this Telegram group using the link in this video description and then get more out of your trading. This is Mobile Forex. Bye for now.